Welcome to an introduction to monthly data collection, in short, MDC. This video will give you an overview as to what MDC is, as well as letting you know how you can get on board. MDC has been up and running since October 2014, and the number of employers will continue to rise. What is MDC? Let's start from the beginning. MDC is the submission of member service and salary details on a monthly basis as opposed to annually. This data represents a significant benefit to the scheme, employers and members, as well as supporting you as employers and or payroll to fulfil your responsibilities. We're giving you the heads up early as the deadline for onboarding to MDC will be December 2017. From April 2018, this will be the only method for providing data. Benefits of joining There are multiple benefits to joining MDC for both employers and members, such as Accurate information for our members In turn, this will reduce the members' queries to employers. It will be easier to submit. There are fewer fields to fill in, therefore less administration. No longer required to complete an annual service return. Templates such as New Starter, TR6, Lever, TR8, and Missing Service, TR28, will no longer need filling out. In most cases, you'll no longer need to complete certificates of re-employment. Less errors will be created for both teachers' pensions and employers. How does MDC work? Every month, you'll need to submit your MDC file no later than the 7th or the last working day if it's a weekend or bank holiday, via the employer portal. You have a choice on how to do this, either using the MDC template or creating your own CSV file. There's also a deadline of the 30th of each month, or last working day prior, to return any errors produced to teachers' pensions. Each quarter, you'll receive a checklist which contains any members which teachers' pensions believe to be missing from your returns. How do I join? You can choose to join from any month you like. You just need to fill in the activation form which can be found on our website and then return to mdc at teacherspensions.co.uk. You'll get a welcome email providing additional guidance notes and specification information and you'll receive support by the dedicated MDC team throughout the boarding process. If you happen to use a payroll provider, you'll need an activation form for the payroll provider to provide the information. We recommend you let them know where to find the information on our website. If you belong or run a multi-academy trust, MAT, you'll also need an activation form to be completed by the lead school or head of the trust. What happens when I join? For the first three months of onboarding, you'll be asked to make test submissions. One each month for the previous month's service. Any submissions you make within the three-month boarding time period will be updated into a bespoke MDC test system. This means your live member records will not be updated until the three-month boarding phase is complete. Any errors can be identified and this also allows us to check to make sure the data is of an acceptable standard. Nothing will be edited on live members' data until you've passed the success criteria. This will be determined after the third submission to the test site. Don't worry if you don't pass the success criteria. You'll just carry on with the test submissions until you're ready. Once you have met the success criteria, we'll ask you to resubmit the files again, along with any amendments. These submissions will then update the live member records. Any gaps in service from the point of your last annual return to the point you joined MDC can be sent in either by a TR28 or another MDC file. Things to remember. Errors that have been corrected need to be re-uploaded and once live, all future extracts will go straight to the live system. What should I do now? You should now get in touch with the dedicated onboarding team who will help you start the process and are here to help you throughout. You can call them on 0345 300 3756, option 5 and then option 1, or alternatively email mdc at teacherspensions.co.uk. You'll find useful resources within the dedicated area of our website. 
Detailed guidance notes, specifications, FAQs and error correction guidance is available.